Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about example problem on probability in probability and statistics course. The given problem is when two dice are thrown at the same time, find out the probability of the following events. Bit A is probability of getting both are even numbers. Bit B is probability of getting sum of numbers is 10. Bit C is probability of getting doublet. Bit D is probability of getting sum of numbers is greater than 7. Bit E is probability of getting sum of numbers is even number. Now we are taking two dice. This is the first dice. It consists of six numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. This is the second dice. It consists of six numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. When we are throwing two dice at the same time, how many number of possibilities we are getting? There are 36 possibilities we are getting. That is 6 into 6. The first dice contains 6 numbers. The second dice contains 6 numbers. 6 into 6 that is equal to 36 possibilities we are getting. That 36 possibilities can be represented in the form of order pair. So here each one can be called as order pair. Each order pair contains two coordinates. The first coordinate always belongs to the first dice. The second coordinate always belongs to the second dice. So here 1 comma 1. This one belongs to the first dice. This one belongs to the second dice. In the same way 4 comma 3. This 4 belongs to the first dice and this 3 belongs to the second dice. Here 6 comma 5. This 6 belongs to the first dice. This 5 belongs to the second dice. Here 3 comma 6. This 3 belongs to the first dice. This 6 belongs to the second dice. How each and every order pair we are getting? We are taking the row number and column number that can be represented as a order pair. For example, in the first, di first dice, we are taking the number 4 and the second dice, we are taking the number 5. So, we are getting so 4, 5, 4, 5. In this way, we are getting 36 possibilities we are getting. When two dice are thrown at once, 36 possibilities we are getting. 36 possibilities we are getting. How 36 we are getting? First dice contains 6 numbers. The second dice contains 6 numbers. So that is so 6 into 6. So that is equal to 36 possibilities we are getting. Therefore, exhaustive number of cases. Exhaustive number of cases. That can be represented by n that is equal to 36. Okay. Now, we can go for a bit. A bit is probability of getting both are even numbers. Probability of getting both are even numbers. So that is equal to m by n where m is nothing but 
favorable number of cases. Okay. What is the favorable number of cases? Okay. Both are even numbers. So, see this one. Two comma two. Both are even numbers. First coordinate is two. Second coordinate is two. Both are even numbers. Next, two comma four. Both are even numbers. Two comma six. Both are even numbers. Next, four comma two. Both are even numbers. Four comma four. Both are even numbers. Four comma six. Both are even numbers. 6 comma 2 both are even numbers 6 comma 4 both are even numbers 6 comma 6 both are even numbers okay how many number of favorable number of cases favorable number of cases is nothing but both are even numbers so here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so my favorable number of cases are there. N is nothing but exhaustive number of cases. That is 36. So 9 by 36 that is equal to 1 by 4. Among the 36 possibilities, both are even numbers. Are how many number of cases? 9 cases. That 9 cases can be considered as favorable number of cases that is denoted by M. So, probability is equal to, probability of an event is equal to favorable number of cases divided by exhaustive number of cases. Favorable number of cases is denoted by small m, exhaustive number of cases denoted by small n. So, how many number of possibilities we are getting? Nine possibilities we are getting. Nine favorable cases are there when both are even numbers. Among the exhaustive number of cases, that is 36 exhaustive number of cases, that is equal to 1 by 4. Next, second bit. Probability of sum of numbers is 10. Probability of getting sum of numbers sum of numbers is 10. That is equal to favorable number of cases divided by total number of cases. So now observe the order pairs whose sum is 10. Whose sum is 10. That means sum of the first coordinate plus second coordinate is equal to 10. Okay. Here 6 comma 4. That means 6 plus 4, that is equal to 10. Next, 5 plus 5, that is equal to 10. Next, 4 plus 6, that is equal to 10. Only 3 favorable cases are there among the 36 possible number of cases. So, therefore, favorable number of cases is a 3. And exhaustive number of cases is 36, that is 1 by 12. The probability of sum of numbers is 10, that is equal to 1 by 12. Next, C bit, probability of doublet, probability of getting doublet is equal to favorable number of cases divided by exhaustive number of cases. Doublet is nothing but first coordinate and the second coordinate both are same. First coordinate, second coordinate both are same that is called as doublet. Okay. So first coordinate, second coordinate both are same. 1 comma 1. First coordinate and second coordinate both are same. 2 comma 2. 3 comma 3. 4 comma 4, 5 comma 5, 6 comma 6. So favorable number of cases is nothing but both coordinates are same. So that is equal to how many number of favorable number of cases? 6. Total number of cases that is 
36. So 6 by 36 that is equal to 1 by 6. Okay, next one, fourth bit. Probability of sum of numbers greater than 7. Sum of numbers greater than 7. That means sum of the first coordinate and the second coordinate is greater than 7. How many number of favorable number of cases we are getting? So see this one. Here 2 comma 6. 2 plus 6 that is 8 greater than 7. It is 8 is greater than 7. Next one. 3 plus 5, 8, that is greater than 7. Next, 3 plus 6, that is 9, 9 is greater than 7. Next one, 4 plus 4, that is 8, it is greater than 7. 4 plus 5, 9, it is greater than 7. 4 plus 6, 10, that is greater than 7. 5 plus 3, 8. It is greater than 7. 5 plus 4, 9. It is greater than 7. 5 plus 5, 10. It is greater than 7. 5 plus 6, 11. It is greater than 7. 6 plus 2, 8. It is greater than 7. 6 plus 3, 9. It is greater than 7. 6 plus 4, 10. It is greater than 7. 6 plus 5, 11. It is greater than 7. 6 plus 6, 12, it is greater than 7. So, how many number of favorable cases are there? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, favorable number of cases is 15 and exhaustive number of cases is 36. So, that is equal to 5 by 12. Next. Last bit, E bit, probability of getting sum is even, sum is even, that is equal to favorable number of cases divided by exhaustive number of cases. Now, what is the meaning of this one? The sum of first number and the second number is equal to the even number. Okay. So now we have to identify them. Here 1 plus 1 that is 2. It is even number. Next one 1 plus 3 that is 4. It is even number. Next 1 plus 5 6 that is even number. Next one 2 plus 2, 4, that is even number. 2 plus 4, that is 6, it is even number. 2 plus 6, 8, that is even number. 3 plus 1, 4, that is even number. 3 plus 3, 6, it is even number. 3 plus 5, 8, it is even number. 4 plus 2, 6, that is even number. 4 plus 4, 8, that is even number. 4 plus 6, 10. That is even number. 5 plus 1, 6. That is even number. 5 plus 3, 8. That is even number. 5 plus 5, 10. That is even number. 6 plus 2, 8. That is even number. 6 plus 4, 10. That is even number. 6 plus 6, 12. That is even number. How many number of favorable number of cases? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So favorable number of cases is 18 and the total number of cases that is exhaustive number of cases that is equal to 36. So 18 by 36 is equal to 1 by 2. So, in this way, we have to do any problem when we are asking 
when two dice are thrown. I hope all of you understanding this video. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will try to clarify your doubts. If you really like this video, please subscribe my YouTube channel. So, Divvela Srinivasara. After subscribing my YouTube channel, click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. So, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. Please see the previous videos also.